Madam Speaker, thank you very much for according the people of Mangango an opportunity and according me an opportunity to give my maiden speech. First and foremost, Madam Speaker, I would like to thank the Almighty God for allowing us to have a successful election and winning at the end of the day, in spite of the hardships that we went through at the hands of the Patriotic Front. Yeah. Madam Speaker, I would like to say congratulations to you, being the first female speaker of the Zambian Parliament in the history of Zambia. Madam Speaker, may I also say thank you uh, to your first and second deputy speakers. Madam, at this juncture, I would also like to say thank you to the President of the Republic of Zambia, His Excellency, Mr. Haka Indehijelema, the Vice President of the Republic of Zambia, Her Honor, Madam Talina Lumango, for their successful win with a landslide in the just past elections in the year 2021. Madam Speaker, I also would like to say thank you to the United Party for National Development structures at large, starting from the branches to the wards, all ward structures, constant structures in Mangango constituency, the district structure in Kaoma, the provincial structure in Western Province, the National Executive Committee at large for according me the opportunity to represent Mangango as the area member of parliament in these 2021 elections. I want to say thank you. Madam Speaker, I also would like to say thank you in my maiden speech to my campaign managers who are Mr. Mtowo, Michael, Mr. Makiko, I cannot forget the likes of Mr. Shimunika, Mr. Kapimpa, Mr. Honorable Mpishi, Mr. Smata Smata, and all those that came on board to help in the campaigns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madam Speaker, it's also imperative that I recognize the efforts of our traditional leaders in Mangango. They really went as well flat out to help campaigning for Mwene, campaigning for UPND party all over. Madam Speaker, this will include our hardworking chief Mwene Mutondo Fwanina and all the sub-chiefs in Mangango and Kaoma at large. Madam Speaker, I also would like to give you thanks to my family Question. Question. My wife, Madam Speaker, Vista Kalilo Mwene, my son, Serge Mwene, my daughter, Grace Shoa Mwene, my son, Shao Fred Mwene, my daughter, Shalini Mwene, as well as my last born son, Sheth Mwene. Madam Speaker, they could not realize at the beginning and conception of our campaigns because of my absentia from home. But later, they came to understand it, that campaign is going out in the constituency and talking, requesting people to give us a vote as we're selling ourselves to the people as a party at large. And in the end, my family too, came on board helping out campaigns. Madam Speaker, I would like to pay tribute to the late Honorable Mwene Nalwa that passed on on 28th of August, who was also the member of parliament for Mang Mangango constituency that died when he was coming from Lusaka from buying a PA system, Madam Speaker, that was going to be used in Mangango because of the by-election that was in 
Chilombo word that was caused by the patriotic front government, Madam Speaker. A very, very sad moment, Madam Speaker, because we lost a very vibrant, vibrant and hardworking area member of parliament that made a lot of contributions in Mangango. Today we can talk of towers, communication towers, we can talk of schools and clinics. They were all built under his tenure. But because of the patriotic front government, Madam Speaker, that went and lowered the councillor that was in Shkombe Ward to defect. That's the reason to why that by-election came about. Madam Speaker, and in the process, my late older brother passed on. Very sad moment indeed. This became a tendency of the patriotic front, Madam Speaker, in Mangango, such that they started luring one councillor after another to defect, telling them they'll provide them with the jobs which they could not give them as well. And they caused five by-elections in Mangango. Madam Speaker, this has put Mangango on a very bad political track, as if the people of Mangango just like by-elections. But in reality, it is the patriotic front government that was trying to penetrate in Mangango because Mangango was a UPND solid constituency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madam Speaker, because of this, at this time, the people of Mangango came to realize that the patriotic front had nothing good for them because they could come at each and every by-election, talk about similar things that they failed to deliver. Issues of roads, issues, Madam Speaker, of schools, issues, Madam Speaker, of the Nyango Training Institute there that they are going to be recruiting. Mangango people as well, but they could not do that. Madam Speaker, that is the reason to why the people of Mangango this time decided to make a very serious shift from the patriotic front government to the UPND government. Yeah, 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 yeah. Madam Speaker, in Mangango we had a lot of negative activities that were happening, beatings, and so on. And deaths were caused because of the Patriotic Front government, Madam Speaker. We can talk about various activities, Madam Speaker, that were so negative that the Patriotic Front government performed in Mangango, and hence the people of Mangango lost confidence in them. And that is the reason to why, Madam Speaker, today the Patriotic, patriotic Front uh, members of Parliament are on your left. Yeah, yeah. Madam Speaker, at this juncture, I would like to say thank you to everybody that also came. They came in numbers, Madam Speaker, to vote for the UPND government to come into power, to vote for the president, His Excellency Akainde Hishilema, to vote for the UPND council chairperson, to vote for the UPND member of parliament, and all the nine councillors in Mangango. I want to say thank you to all the voters out there in Mangango. May God keep on giving you the wisdom of being able to determine a government that has failed and a government that can come in to deliver. Madam Speaker, at this point, I would like to enter into my, um, my comments on the presidential speech that was given by our President, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Hakainde Hichilem, on the 10th of August, I mean 10th of September 2021. Madam Speaker, I stand strongly supporting this presidential speech because it is a speech that is sharp, that has got a proper and clear direction to the people of Zambia. It is a speech, Madam Speaker, that is giving hope to all the Zambians because the previous government, Madam Speaker, had lost the direction in leading this country. Madam Speaker, on page 13, the President of the Republic of Zambia talked about job creation, which I feel is a very big need in Zambia, because for everybody to be able to sustain 
they need a job. The previous government, Madam Speaker, was not able to attend this. And our president, President Hakainde Hichilema, is promising us this. And this is what is needed as well in Mangango. Madam Speaker, on job creation, the president is going to come up with a mechanism where all the youths, that is male and female, will be able to have jobs in Zambia. Madam Speaker, not only that, on page 17, the President of the Republic of Zambia talked about creating a conducive environment for businesses. And this is what is needed in Zambia, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, for a country to develop, it needs businessmen that will be able to invest in the economy. And because of that, another portion of a job creation will be created to the Zambians. And I get very surprised that our colleagues, Madam Speaker, that are on your left-hand side, some of them are failing to agree and support the presidential speech. It's very discouraging to have such kind of people that cannot support, Madam Speaker, a president that is talking about job creation, a president that is talking about uh, uh, businesses in Zambia. Madam Speaker, then what do they represent? If the people in their constituencies are crying for jobs, like people in Mangango, they need jobs. People in Mangango, they need businesses. Then somebody is coming here and just opposing the presidential speech on such grounds. Madam Speaker, it gives us a great doubt of such representation. Madam Speaker, the president talked about infrastructure development in Zambia. And this is what we need, particularly in Mangango as well. Madam Speaker, when we are talking about infrastructure development, we are talking about the road networks in Mangango, the Katunda Lukuru Road. Madam Speaker, the President already assured us that it is going to be done. And this is what we need to do. And we need to support such kind of a president. Madam Speaker, not only that, all the other feeder roads are also expected to be worked on within this five years tenure of his office. Madam Speaker, we are talking about a president that is that talked about supporting us in the in terms of infrastructure development by building schools in Mangango, by building clinics in Mangango. Madam Speaker, I very much support my president's speech. Yeah, 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 yeah. Madam Speaker, we cannot forget about talking about safe and clean water that is needed in Mangango, and this is what our president talked about. And then who am I to say no or not to support the presidential speech? I stand here, Madam Speaker, fully supporting President Hagai Ndehijilema's speech. Yeah. Madam Speaker, when you look at our president's speech on page 46, he is talking about tribalism. There will be no more tribalism. Actually, it has already finished in Zambia. Yeah. 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 This is attested, Madam Speaker, by even just the formation of his cabinet. It is comprised of all the members from all the provinces, Madam Speaker. This is very opposed to our colleagues, what they did, the patriotic French government. Madam Speaker, in the patriotic French government, Madam Speaker, there was no tribal balancing, no regional balancing in their cabinet. The people on your left, Madam Speaker, know very well that they could not balance that. But our president, the current president of the Republic of Zambia, Madam Speaker, has done it so. And I feel we all need to support the president's speech. Madam Speaker, the other reason to why I support the presidential speech is because he talked about fighting corruption. Corruption, Madam Speaker, was so rampant in the patriotic front government. As it is today, Madam Speaker, we all know that our president now, the one we have currently, is one that does not support corruption. Madam Speaker, this issue, he actually talked about coming up with a fast track. That is going to deal with the, the corrupt practices in the past, in the present, and in the future. And that is one of the reasons why, Madam Speaker, some of the members on your left are not able to support this speech. Because perhaps they may be implicated in one way or another. 
We don't know. Madam Speaker, there are a lot of issues when we are talking about corrupt practices that were performed in the previous government. We may not know them all, but we know that some of the issues that were happening, Madam Speaker, were not rightful. They have question marks. Most of the people could, be able, could not be able to understand how some of the matters were happening. For example, my, my brothers and sisters, Madam Speaker, in Mangango, we are dealing in timber, Mkula Kri. You will find the previous government, Madam Speaker, would impound trucks that we are ferrying in Mkula Kri, Madam Speaker. After that, all the trucks were nowhere to be seen. Who sold the, uh, the, the timber? We don't know. Where the money went, we don't know. After the impounding of the trucks, Madam Speaker, the money was supposed, the timber was supposed to be auctioned or sold. After the sale of the timber, Madam Speaker, the money was supposed to be brought in the government coffers. And everyone was supposed to be able to see that money. And tell us to say, this money that we got from the impounded uh, Mukura tree, we have built that hospital. Or we have built that school. Or it's the money we have used to build that road. But it was all not there, Madam Speaker. And because of this, Madam Speaker, I support my president, our president, the president of the Republic of Zambia, His Excellency Haka in the history of speech. Madam Speaker, we have a lot of issues to talk about as regards our president's speech. As for now, we can say thank you so much for the time that you have accorded to us. Thank you. I end my contribution. Thank you.